Hello and welcome, I'm JD and today in this tutorial we're going to go through how much ammunition you need to bring for your ships to keep them in the fight. This is a question that is frequently asked by many a new player, as well as even experienced people when trying to compare ships and come up with different builds. So first let's have a look at a few key factors that determine how much ammunition you need. Each of the turrets that either are used for PD or fire ballistic ammunition, whether that being chemical or magnetic, will have three terms that are really important. One is the autoloader, the second is the recycle time, and the third is the reload time. In the scenario on the screen, which is modeled on a Mark 62 120 mm gun, the dual barreled 120 mm cannon, we can see that this cannon has an internal magazine or its autoloader can hold four rounds. When you give this cannon the order to fire, the first round will automatically fire once it's aligned to the target, and then it will go through a short recycle time, which is a short internal reload, to get to the next round in the autoloader. This will continue, as seen on the screen, alternating between autoloader and recycle time until such time that the autoloader is empty, at which case a longer reload time will take effect before the autoloader then starts to go through the autoloader and recycle time just described. Once we have all this information, we can calculate the cycle time, which is the time taken from when the first round in the autoloader fires to when the reload time has been completed and the autoloader is ready to fire again. You can then use this cycle time to determine how many minutes of firing you want, then multiply it all out. Previously, this has been done in spreadsheet, but we'll actually just give you those numbers further on in this video. So a few points on how much ammunition you should bring. Generally, the rule of thumb is 20 minutes for offensive and about four minutes for point defense. Noting that when you're bringing offensive ammunition, the 20 minutes of firing time is either HE or AP, and HE radio proximity fuse or RPF is then in addition to that. It's usually recommended to bring at least 100 rounds of radio proximity fuse, generally just to take out the small corvettes uh, that are running around the map. Usually the RPF is used for the 250 millimeter gun, so the Mark 64. You can use 120 millimeter HE RPF as well, and enough of it will eventually do damage, but that's up to you depending on if you want to expend the point on it. Secondly, players will generally split their total ammunition between HE and AP, but this is usually either an 80-20 split or a 70-30 split. Ultimately, this is up to you. Finally, and we'll touch on this shortly again in a little bit more detail, but all ammunition totals are rounded up for points efficiencies, and we'll go through that. Finally, this is just a bit of a guide, so you can always bring more or less. If you are a very offensive type of player, you may want to bring less ammunition as you expect the ships to just be destroyed easier, or if you tend to have a lot of survivability and make it to the very end of the game, you may want to consider bringing more ammunition. So test and adjust after you use these numbers and make it work for you. So a, a few fleet building ammo tips uh, before we get in. If you want to set a particular ammo nature upon spawn, so when you load into the game, therefore you don't have to immediately swap all your guns to reload to a different ammo nature. You can do this by stacking the particular ammo type with for that particular ammo size first in the magazines. So here I want my 120 millimeter guns to load AP shells first. So in the first magazine, I'm going to place the 120 millimeter AP shells first. And if you follow the white line and go down to the Mark 62 cannon on the picture on the bottom right hand side of the screen, you will see that the orange square indicates that after I deployed in, that's the type of ammunition that I'm loading. Likewise, I've done this with the 250 millimeter HE. And again, if you follow the yellow line, that's what was loaded first, as you can see the orange square next to it. And this is regardless of how much ammunition you place in that first magazine. You can then put other types of ammunition or the same ammunition in the second magazine or other magazines and therefore they will just add to the overall total but not affect the priority that they're loaded in noting that when you are in game and have a look at your weapons he and ap will be listed alphabetically so ap first and he look for that orange square that's going to tell you what's loaded in addition we spoke above about uh, using ammo for efficiency so all the ammo comes in multipliers with the smaller ammo being able to be taken for more units per points. In this scenario, we use 120 millimeter ammunition. For every 100 units, it costs one point. So if I take anywhere between one and 100 units, that's one point. If I take 101 to 200 units, that'll be two points. So therefore, if you're taking, say, 152 units, you're still going to spend two points, but you're not taking the full 48 units. And therefore, you're not being as efficient. Uh, you're not also going to be able to get those points back if you don't take that full multiple. 
So generally, if you can, take the full multiple of that particular ammo size. However, you may encounter it particularly with the larger types of ammunition where you won't be able to do this as you'll exceed the space in the magazine with the size of the ammunition as opposed to running out of points. So let's get into these numbers. Here on this screen is everything that is the ballistic chemical types of ammunition. The Mark 61 and the Mark 62 being 120 millimeter in size, the Mark 64 being 250, and the Mark 66 and 68 being 450. Unbuff meaning if you put that turret and the ammunition on that ship um, without any supporting modules, that's the amount of ammunition you'll need. And then going up to one buff, two buffs, and three buffs, in which the ammunition elevators provide those buffs to the Mark 61 through to the Mark 68s. So for the ballistic magnetic ammunition being at the 300 millimeter sabo, the Mark 81, 82, and the mass driver, which is destroyer only, they are buffed by the energy regulator, which these calculations have been done. Note that there's also a small energy regulator, which does a 12% improvement instead of a 20%, or I think 15 points off the top of my head. Note that these weapons have a longer recycle and reload time, which is why you're going to need significantly less of them. So point defense, being the defender, doesn't have any buffs uh, provided by the ammunition elevators, simply because it is a continuous fire weapon. So 10,000 rounds of Mark 20 ammunition is 20 points. So 500 units is one point. So this is probably the one case where you may actually want to take less. However, that's up to you. And I suggest playing around with that. Otherwise, the Mark 25 generally you only need anywhere between 500 and 600 rounds per turret. So to bring it all together with an example, all the above worlds per turret. So if I have a ship that has two Mark 61s, two Mark 62s, and a Mark 64, then I'm going to need to add this ammunition together. So here, having looked at the tables above, I can see that the Mark 61 requires 300 rounds for 20 minutes of firing. The Mark 62 requires 400 rounds and my Mark 64 will require 150. So because I have two Mark 61s and two Mark 62s, I'm going to multiply those together and then add them for a total rounds of 1400 rounds of 120 millimeter. And because I only have the one Mark 64, I'll just multiply that by one and I'll need 150 rounds of 250 millimeter. Now, I may want to split this between uh, HE and AP, and I definitely want to take at least 100 rounds of HE RPF, notably for the Mark 64, although you could also do 100 rounds for the Mark 61 and the Mark 62. But at the basis, I would need 1,400 rounds of 120 millimeter and 150 rounds of 250 millimeter. So then I'd be able to add 1,400 rounds of 120 millimeter ammunition into my magazine based on my HE AP split, then 150 rounds of 250 millimeter doing the same. So this is quite an easy way to just quickly put the ammunition together based on the 20 minutes of firing rule and not having to personally calculate via a spreadsheet every time that you want to add ammunition to a ship. So I hope this has been helpful and will help you calculate how much ammunition you need for your ships when you're in the fleet editor, noting that this is a guide you can always take more or less depending on how you play and how you build. And I will update the imager links down below. Uh, as we have new types of ammunition or we have new types of weapons added into the game that uses these calculations. So if you have any questions, put them down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care.